that was a short steep hike up quite rocky lots of steps I'm with Rima today so this will be her first wild camp my third total ever I think everything else has been on a campsite and it's perfect weather come say hello Rima. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we've just been scoping out a spot by this tarn surrounded by ridiculous mountains like there's a couple mountains around us that are about a thousand meters high the sun's just going down and uh yeah i think it's time to make dinner and get the tent up you can just see a couple of people fishing not really anyone else pretty how we like it pretty good spot for my first wild camp yeah just a few midges I've just had dinner, didn't film it. But I had this. Rima had a pot noodle. I like oh. cooking, so I wouldn't necessarily normally like a pot noodle, but having it warm in your hands was quite nice actually. And then some like <clears throat> uh, char grilled vegan chicken to add in uh, some protein, which was uh, surprisingly nice. So tasty. But yeah, we've run out of water, so I need to go collect some. And Rima's going to continue to. Practice on Duolingo, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't want to lose my streak. <laughs> <laughs> the colours in the sky are amazing. Like the pinks are coming out in the clouds now. The mountains are starting to kind of just darken, like a bit like a silhouette. And the tent, yeah, that was surprisingly easy to pitch. Once we realised we'd attached the <laughs> wrong corner to the wrong place, <laughs> um, so I borrowed that off a friend because my tent's not—it's two person, but it's not big enough for two. And yeah, hope, hoping for a cozy night in it. So, yeah. Sent my mum a video because obviously wild camping, we let people know where we are. And her comment was, looks beautiful, but a bit remote. <laughs> That's exactly what I like. First camp is going very well. So quiet and so tasty. Tasty with the pot noodle. Delicious with the view. <laughs> mm. Yeah, time to get water for a cup of tea and dessert. Would you rather have a hamster sized dog or a dog sized hamster? I think that's an easy one for me. Hamster sized dog? Yeah. Ha imagine how adorable that would be. Yeah, whereas the other one I think would be pretty cool. It's furry. Hamsters always bite. Yeah, and their little teeth would be massive. <laughs> Remember some of the campsites we stayed in Canada were just surrounded by these ridiculous huge mountains and you just saw the shadow of them once, you know, like it was when it was properly dark and it's just beautiful. I can't believe how steady it is too. Morning. It's a bit windier than it was last night, but it's not too bad. The sun isn't quite out for us because it's hiding from it. So, yeah, it's beautiful. It's not peaceful, but it's really quiet over there. We know there was a group of lads higher up as we feel.
camped. We've left no trace. Unfortunately, uh, someone has left a trace of a fire, but it wasn't us. And oh, there she is. Very well. Hiya. So we're going to head off, look at the other tarn uh, that's nearby that we considered staying at, but it seems too accessible for the road. Rima, you said you wanted to reflect on your first camping trip. Well, not my first camping trip, my first wild camping trip, but yeah, it was good. It was a learning experience in maybe I like the luxuries of a filly uh, so that I don't get spots on my face from sleeping on my sitba, uh, which was a mistake. And yeah, just a few things that I learned, but I did get some sleep. It was a couple hours at a time um but yeah like i guess it's pretty nice to wake up to the view like this so it's probably worth it it's not a rave review yet but i think i just need a couple extra bits of kit and then uh i'm, I'm ready to go one is a pillow the kit is actually not stuff to buy necessarily it's just about packing the right clothes which i didn't um i just had a busy week this week so i didn't get the chance to prepare properly I think uh, just to have a better bag really as well, just so that I can pack different stuff, more stuff, uh, be a bit more comfortable whilst walking and also help out with the carrying of the tent. Um, just a few things like having my own stove as well and just kind of being able to help out. Um, I don't like to just uh, skank off other people. So. <laughs> so hopefully as we walk down to the new town, uh, you can reflect on how beautiful the views are and the sheep over there just chilling out at 7am which you wouldn't normally get to do without camping out so that is true and uh, we one bonus thing we did get to see a really nice starry night So that's the town we were originally going to stay at. You can see a few tents down there. And the path to get down to it, because we're coming a different way, is uh, quite interesting. 